So hello and welcome to the Everything Is Black and White podcast. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm outside of St James's Park with dozens of Newcastle United fans waiting for the arrival of their first signing of the summer transfer window, Sandro Tonali. Yes, already fans have gathered outside by the statues of Sir Boy Robson and Alan Shearer. In anticipation that Tonali will pull up here uh, and they'll be able to, to wave at Adam and give him a few words of encouragement. We know he's flown in from Milan this afternoon on a nice private jet. He's touched down at Newcastle Airport and we expect him to come up to the stadium because he's passed his medical, remember. He passed that in Romania while on international duty with the under-21s of Italy. Um, so all he now needs to do is the publicity shots. He needs to hold up the scarf. He needs to wear the jersey. He needs to do the interview. And we think he'll do that today will we find out the squad number perhaps potentially you'd like to think so uh, but that could drag on into the summer but that's not the big deal is it we want to see him in the colours of black and white he's on tyne side and that's why the fans are gathering outside the stadium they want to see who could be their new hero Sandro Tenor yeah big big signing for Newcastle United top top teams wanted him Chelsea were very interested in him he of course played for AC Milan one of the top teams in Europe a boyhood fan of AC Milan and Newcastle persuaded him to move to Newcastle United. What a big statement this is. A big splash in the transfer market. A lot of money, 23 years old. A wealth of experience already at that age. His best years ahead of him. This is a big, big sign to make no bones about it. And now we just await his arrival here at St James's Park. Uh, Ethan. What does your sign say? Uh, can I get a picture with you, please, to Nolly? I'm you to see him. Oh, definitely. I hope I can get a picture taken with him. I'll be over the moon. And what a big sign this is for Newcastle. Chelsea wanted him. He's playing for AC Milan. Just kind of, what a statement does this sign out to Newcastle's rival? Oh, no. Is it? It is one for the future. It's going to cost nearly £60 million. Can you believe Newcastle is spending that much money? It's worth it. Yeah, you've got a new strip on as well. You must just be buzzing for the new season. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get the Champions League. I'm over the moon. You've been one opponent that you'd love to see here in the Champions League. One team to see here. To Ooh. Real Madrid. So we're still waiting for the arrival of Sandro Tenali, but as you can see behind me, the crowds have uh, increased in number. Uh, people with uh, Italian signs asking for a picture, people with uh, the strip 
and uh, pens wanting the shirt signed. They're just hoping to get a photograph with Sandro Tonali. Um, and there's excitement. There's hope that he's going to turn up here. The people have been waiting uh, hours, some of them, and they'll be disappointed if he isn't here. So we're still waiting for the arrival of Sandro Tonali. But as luck would have it, there seems to be a school prom going on, and uh, there's a lot. There's a big crowd outside of the players' entrance waiting um, for Tonali to arrive. And there's loads of cars going past with uh, guys getting out uh, ready for the prom and um, there's a big crowd so it's probably not the uh, arrival they were expecting to happen um, a bit different to what you would normally get at your school prom I would imagine everyone thinking you're potentially Sandro Tonali um, might give him away an easier way to disguise himself and sneak in who knows Can you just tell me how you came to bump into Sandro Tonali? Uh, went to the airport to watch his plane land um, and when he left in the cars we thought, oh, we'll give him a follow because we think they're going to St James Park. And then he obviously turned into Darius Hall to view a house that's for sale for obviously for him moving across there with his family. And is it your little daughter that got to meet him? Or your little yeah, my little daughter, yeah. So um, what was he like? Lovely, absolutely lovely, yeah. Speaks perfect English as well, so very good. So you got a picture with Sandra Tonali, what was he like? He was great, he was just, uh, he's just like all friendly, and just, just loved the fans so far. And this, I mean, he's a big, massive signing, I mean, just to be. One of the first fans to meet him, what was, what was the feeling like for yourself? Just nervous really, just getting closer and closer home, it was just, it was just mad. And I guess you can see all the people here waiting to meet him, it shows you just how, how excited the fan base are to, to see him. Yeah, just since the takeover, just it, everything's went bonkers as really. Like you see like Adam Pearson down there, just waiting, waiting to meet him, everyone's trying to get him. And did you get to say anything to him, did you wish him well or? Yeah, I just, I just said welcome, welcome to the castle, that's about it. Uh, what's your name? My name's uh, Charlie from Charlie Talks Football. Uh, you can follow him on YouTube. We're outside of St James Park hoping to see Sandro Tonali. Just how excited are you? Potentially well, see I'm really excited, honestly. I mean, for the price we've got him for, I think it's a brilliant price. He's obviously um, got a lot of Champions League experience as well, but it's a brilliant signing. And if you would have told me a year ago, you know, we would have signed Tonali, I would have. Honestly, I wouldn't have believed you. And there's a lot of people outside here waiting to see him. Yeah. I, sh I guess that shows you just how excited everyone is to, to finally have a player of this calibre. Yeah, it does as well. And it shows that um, he's going to get a huge reception from the fans as well. But hopefully he does turn up soon. Um, and if you got a chance to, to give him a good look message, what would that be? I'd just say um, <laughs> hopefully we can win the Champions League and just... Um, just work hard, do your best. So we think this is Sandro Tonali here coming into St James's Park. No, it's a false alarm. It's a false alarm. <laughs> it's a false alarm, everybody. No. And it's a false alarm. This is what I mean, there's a prom going on tonight so someone's turned up in a big black pewter carrier and everyone thought it was the club one but it's not, it's just someone getting out to enjoy their prom but you can see everyone rushing up here. This is the waiting game ladies and gents here at the Chimps Park for Sandro Tonali. <laughs> and the wait, the wait goes on. So as you might have guessed, the search for Sandro Tonali didn't quite go to plan for us or the fans outside St James Park. I've headed home, I headed home about quarter past six uh, and he didn't turn up. Everyone kind of packed up and went away not too long after. We think he'll be back on Thursday morning to do what he needs to do. Um, so it'll be interesting if the fans gather, if they've got the time to. And um, yeah, we'll just have to wait a bit longer for those pictures, but he's definitely on Tyne's side, we've spoken to people who've uh, had their photographs taken with him, we've had the pleasure to speak to him. I think one of the key things I got from speaking to the father of the young 
uh, girl who managed to get one of the first photographs with him is that he said he speaks perfect English, which is fantastic because I know that was one of the queries that a lot of fans had. Did Tenali speak English and how would he fit in to Newcastle United if not? But there doesn't appear to be a language barrier according to the gentleman uh, who has already met him up in Dallas Hall. So thank you very much for watching. We'll return with the search for Sandra Tenali on Thursday morning. In the meantime, please hit that subscribe button and hit this video with a thumbs up. Thank you very much and we'll catch you shortly.